All right, going to take a few minutes here to expose this wolf right here. This wolf in sheep's clothing is Arthur Pawlowski guy, this uh, pastor that came out and he was yelling at the police to go away, Nazi scum and all this other stuff. Or he's being interviewed on Fox News. Get on mainstream media, there's a problem there. Uh, mainstream media doesn't want, to, want anything to do with Bible-believing preachers. Okay, uh, They don't report on us at all. Uh, Steven Anderson, not a Bible-believing preacher. He was all over mainstream media. Um, they won't go near a real Bible believer. Uh, <clears throat> but this guy here, you know, he became famous, you know, for I mean, 1.1 million views. All the stuff of him yelling about the Nazis and all this other, all these other things. And here he is being interviewed by this on this EWTN. Hmm. Wonder what that would be. Uh, EWTN. Oh, it's a Catholic website, um, Catholic YouTube site, I should say. And here, who do you have first? Mitch Pacwa, the uh, Jesuit priest, SJ there, that uh, endorsed James White's book on the Trinity. Mitchell Pacwa. James White uh, <clears throat> debated him a number of times. And uh, here he is. This uh, It's live, actually, right now. Hey, wow, we could be watching a, a Jesuit speak. Wouldn't that be wonderful? But uh, uh, what's he doing on a Catholic program? Hmm. But uh, we did this thing here a while about exposing the false Church of God restoration cult. These people are so satanic, it's just incredible. Up here's all their elders that they have and everything else, including two women. You know, um, their holy prophet, this loser that looks like Robert Breaker up here in the front. Uh, really bad. I mean, you can watch that whole false Church of God restoration cult. Uh, very satanic, but look at their their uniforms of black and the white and all this other stuff. And um, here you have this uh, meeting with all these Church of Restoration cult people. And uh oh, look who's right there. I'm just not going to anymore to play it, but look who's right there. Let's see if they shine a little bit better here in a minute. Do it this way. They're standing around singing their bizarre monathic song I've never even heard of before. Um, religious uniforms are nowhere in the scriptures, by the way. In the New Testament, there are no such things as religious uniforms. This is not modest apparel. This is religious uniforms. Okay? Which is uh, papal. It's Catholic. Here, they'll show him here in a minute. There he is. Arthur Pulowski. There with the Church of God Restoration Cult. You say, oh, okay, he just met with them at a tea party rally, which is what this was. Um, no big deal. Um, then why did he have Tobias Tyson, Tyson, whatever else here, from the Church of God Restoration Cult, speaking in his uh, pulpit here? Isn't that nice? So here's Arthur Plowski. This is his channel, by the way, on YouTube. You know, uh, and he has Church of God Restoration cult member right there, Tobias Tobias Tissen, a minister of the at the Church of God Restoration south of Steinbeck, or Steinbach, whatever. So, and if that's not bad enough, this guy you want to see his assistant pastor. There you go, long-haired uh, guy with a uh, Roman papal collar on. Huh, Peter Riker. Uh, Jesuit priest, assistant pastor. I have no idea what this guy's background is or anything else, but uh, you, you know, you say, well, now come on now, this is crazy. That these guys aren't together. Oh, they're not. There he is, Arthur Pulowski, and this guy here. Hmm. But it gets worse. Here they have the at the influencers dinner in Tampa, Florida, with Pastor Rodney Howard Brown, Arthur Pulowski TV. You see what's he doing about reporting on that? Oh, you'll see here in a minute. But this is June seventeenth, two thousand twenty-one. Today is the thirtieth of June, two thousand twenty-one. 
But look right here in the in the audience. Make let me uh make this bigger. Now I don't know for sure, but that looks to me like Judy Mikovits right there. Huh? The anti-vaccine woman, the former doctor, and whatever else. Um, they, it's real, real uh, shaky in here and everything. Whoever's doing this videotaping is awful, but you can't really see her too too great. But I'll put the picture up there beside her. That looks like Judy Mikovits to me. Okay, now, like I said, I could be wrong there, but um, looks like Judy Mikovits to me. And but let's play a little bit of this thing here. You're not going to believe this. Let's see who's there at the dinner. So Pastor Arthur Pulowski there with uh, Rodney Howard Brown, one of the oldest charismatic cuckoo bird nuts out there, the healers, the Holy Ghost bartender that came up with this whole thing of getting drunk in the spirit and whatever else, and uh, just happens to also be a uh, <clears throat> advisor to Donald Trump, spiritual advisor. <clears throat> Mason, <coughs> Mason's, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> nothing to that, I'm sure. Um, yeah, but it goes through here and there. There they are. They're they're hugging, good buddies. Isn't that nice? This wicked Satanist right here, this devil. Uh, there's a video, older video of him at one of his charismatic meetings, and and some guys praying. And, and Howard, Rodney Howard Brown says, "Don't don't pray, don't pray. Stop praying. You can pray when you get home." Don't pray. Uh, yeah. This is who Arthur Perlowski's uh, yoking up with. I grew up behind the Iron Curtain. That's the beginning of the story. So two hours later. Now, listen to what he says here. Okay, and then we'll skip ahead to something else. God sent me here for a specific purpose. When I was in prison with my brother, he came to me and he said, what are we going to do now? What is God telling you? I mean, being in prison, the beautiful thing about it is you have lots of time and you're fasting and you pray. You're walking around and they put chains on my legs and I was walking around and drove my brother crazy. But you see, you have lots of time and you can think and you can pray and sometimes that's needed. But what enemy meant it for evil, what enemy meant for evil, God turns around for good. And what the devil, what the devil thought, that arresting me in the middle of a highway, what they wanted, what they wanted was to make an example out of me, but what they did, they elevated me. Oh boy. Uh, oh, they wanted to make an example of me, but they, what they did is they elevated me. Uh huh. What did Steven Anderson do years ago? Oh, that's right. Border Patrol beat him up, knocked his brains in, cut up his forehead, and they elevated him. Um, Arthur Pulowski here, his channel. 21.7 thousand subscribers. I have, you know, pretty much twice as many subscribers on my channel on YouTube. But the, oh, they, they elevated me. Watch his channel explode. And he's monetized, by the way. His, things all over the place there ads all over the place but he's he's been elevated but let's zip forward here to about uh, probably right in here I guess listen to what he says here okay and remember the Catholics Catholics like the guy they're interviewing him down here EWTN okay listen to this the sword of the giant and he finished the job God spoke to me. He says, I want you, the church, to take the political arena. God spoke to me. He said, I want you, the church. Catholics love to say the church. They love it. I want you, the church, to take the political arena. Um, chapter and verse on that. Where does the Bible say that we're supposed to take the political arena in the end times? Um, I thought it was the Catholic Church that takes the political arena in the end times. Nothing like that. 
Listen to what else he says. We got to run for political office. We have to dethrone them and put our people, our brothers and sisters, in the rightful place. He says, yeah, we need to put our, our brothers and sisters in the rightful place. So, you know, kind of like uh, what's going on here. Rodney Howard Brown. Rodney Howard Brown. <laughs> Come on, man. I want you to take the educational system. I want you to take the educational system. Chapter and verse, please. Where does the King James Bible say one sentence about taking the educational system? Where does it say that we're supposed to have schools, Bible universities, colleges, seminaries? One verse, please. I, God told me, God says to me, I want you to take the educational system. Really? Because if you don't want to fight for you, you're going to fight for the next generation. For the grandchildren. Because this is their promised land as well. <laughs> Typical thing. Um, don't do this just for you. Do it for your children and your grandchildren. We need to take back our country. Oh my goodness, makes me puke. I've heard these Baptists do the same thing and whatever else. You know, we need to restore America, bring back the Republic, make America great again. <laughs> you have to take back the mainstream media. Now we have to take back the mainstream media. And this is all stuff God told this charismatic kook. We have to take back the mainstream media. Because that's in Scripture. You know, take back the mainstream media. Because they have forgotten what the word truth means. This is our time. They have forgotten what the word truth means. Uh, they, they have actively covered up the truth, mainstream media, since its inception with the early newspapers lying, you know, and then radio came out and then television and then Internet. and er The me mainstream media has never been about the truth. They've forgotten what the truth means. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, this is the most exciting time yes, we could ever be born. People say... That's the most exciting time we could ever be born. Um, I thought it's supposed to get really bad in the end times. And get worse. Be careful who you watch. Be careful who you listen to. Let's watch a little bit more here. You were arrested. You were hunted down. I was arrested a dozen times. Over 100 court cases. 300. Yeah, and he says, yeah, I'm still here. So, whatever. But, uh, uh, don't fall for this devil. Oh, this guy. Oh, look at He's been, you know, I'll, I'll play a little bit of the... CMP's lobby. Yeah, yes, of course. Ads on YouTube that you can't get away from. You have to love it. Go ahead, play the stupid ad so I can get by the thing here. Blah, blah, blah. So I don't know if they're playing any audio here. Remarkable scene. A policeman in a supposedly civilized country busting into an Easter service and attempting to close it down, uh, which was in fact an illegal act by those coppers. In this case, the mass ranks of the constabulary didn't measure up to one determined pastor and he cast them out of his church. That preacher joins us now, Arthur Palowski. So... There you have, they didn't play the, the whole audio, but he's yelling, out, out, Nazis, out. It's called an act. He's tied in with all this different stuff, tied in with this man right here, Rodney Howard Brown. Rodney Howard Brown, tied in with Donald Trump. There's Rodney Howard Brown back in his older days, you know, he's pudgier and whatever else. Uh, he was eating better back then or something, I don't know, but, you know. <laughs> There, tied in with EWTN, Jesuits, Mitch, Mitch Pacwa, Church of God Restoration cult, tied in with them. There he is with them. These Satanists. There he is, one of their pastors speaking in his church. There he is, Tobias, this guy with the long hair and a Catholic Roman collar on. What more can I say? It's just, what a bunch of jerks. So, 
that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to share some of that stuff. Absolutely incredible.